scrap rubber on the road. It irritates motorists, is a safety hazard, and most importantly, it could be prevented. To solve this problem, it's important to really understand how the scrap rubber gets there in the first place. Many motorists are under the misconception that scrap rubber is the result of a failed retread, which is peeled off of the casing. However, a closer look at this debris shows us the true cause. Most often, when you see rubber on the highway, you also see wire protruding from under the tread. This wire is the remains of the steel belts that are built into truck tires. There is no wire in the tread rubber a retreader puts on a tire, as you can see here. What has happened here is the whole tire has come apart and been destroyed on the highway. Therefore, rubber on the road, for the most part, is a tire maintenance problem. While road hazards contribute to a large number of in route tire failures, properly aired, matched, and well maintained tires experience a much lower rate of road failures. Tires which are overloaded, underinflated, or carry a heavier load due to being mismatched generate substantially more heat than properly inflated tires, and heat is a tire's worst enemy. As a tire without sufficient air pressure rolls down the highway, it becomes hotter and hotter until the components inside the tire come apart. When this happens, the tire disintegrates, littering the highway with pieces of scrap rubber. Because the tread and belt package normally separate from the rest of the tire when this occurs, retreads are often blamed. But upon closer examination, the wire under the tread rubber tells you the real story. With this knowledge, you can help your company save substantial dollars by ensuring the tires on your vehicle are properly inflated and matched. Those savings translate to greater profit for your company and improve job security for you in a very competitive industry. Truckers and trucking companies across the country spend millions of dollars on tires. In fact, tires are the third largest expense a fleet has after labor and fuel. With the use of radio truck tires, truckers have found that they can greatly reduce their tire costs by retreading their tires several times. In fact, they can cut their tire costs almost in half by retreading their tires twice. And retreading also makes truckers good environmental citizens. How? Well, tires are basically petrochemical products. Approximately 22 gallons of oil are used to manufacture one new truck tire. Most of that oil is found in the body or casing, which is reused in the retreading process. In contrast, only about seven gallons of oil are needed to retread a truck tire. As a result, approximately 15 gallons of oil are saved every time a truck tire is retreaded. A second environmental benefit of retreading is that it recycles worn tires and puts them back on the road rather than in overcrowded landfills. Each time a tire is retreaded, one less tire is disposed of. However, despite the economic and ecological benefits, the real question in today's competitive trucking climate centers around durability and reliability. Are retreads as safe as new tires? Let's take a look. Virtually all military and commercial jets take off and land on retreads. The small package delivery companies use them to meet guaranteed delivery times. And retreads are the overwhelming replacement tire of choice for school bus operators who carry this nation's most precious cargo, our children. Retread tires are also the overwhelming choice of truckers and trucking companies who purchased 16 million retreads last year compared with only 11 million new replacement tires. The bottom line, retreads are safe, reliable, cost-effective, and environmentally friendly. Their image as scrap rubber on the highway is changing as people become more educated in the true cause of rubber on the road. And look for the telltale wire which clearly indicates a tire failure rather than a retread problem. Regardless of whether your truck is riding on retreads or new tires, the most important safety factor to consider is air pressure inflation. Tires which are not properly inflated generate heat, and heat destroys tires and makes our highways less safe for all motorists. 
the truck tire retread industry invites drivers and fleet tire mechanics to join them in an effort to improve highway safety, reduce vehicle and driver downtime due to in route tire failures, and save money by regularly checking and inflating tires to maximize their life and performance.